Hey everybody, this is Rhino, and we are back with another recording of Rogue Legacy. Let's choose our heir and continue. Who do we want to play as? Spell Thief. That's a new one. So we will play as a Spell Thief since we just unlocked that. The spell Thief has an ability to steal mana from the enemies around us. So we need some major upgrade in our ability to carry stuff. So I'm hoping with this two upgrades we will now have enough. Then th that means when we have 1250 we can get that sword if we wanted to. But right now we'll just increase our armor. Really? Oh man, I need five more. Well, there goes our bracers for this ranger chest. Which I believe we got the ranger's chest by running into the next section of the game. Hmm. We might as well wear this cape. It doesn't do anything bad to us, it just increases our critical hit chance. So, you can see here, our sword doesn't really exist, we're just magically making it appear. And we got the sword wall, and we have 189, which should not be anything we can buy. Next thing we're trying to get would be the upgrade to the leech and the upgrade to spell thief. I think we'll be able to get that. Let's hop into this place and take some damage. And do some damage too. Not just take damage, do damage. So, one of the problems with the spell thief right now is that his mana is just so low. 66 is up a little bit of a man right now. So I'm at 60 of 66. When I hit it, I get back to 66. Part of that is because I have the siphon ability from one of the ruins I'm using, and part of that is from the spell. Kind of a slow swinger. And that got me 10. I'm dancing dangerously with these flight traps. That time it didn't work out for me. About dead? Not about dead, I am dead. You should have picked the other child. Uh, so, he didn't survive very long. Do we want to play as Paladin, who's a savant? And... Or do we want to play as a Spelunkette? I don't believe we played as a Spelunkette, or Spelunker, yet. So we'll play Lady Blair 3. We just unlocked that. Only got 184 gold apparently from that. So the light doesn't seem to do anything right now, but I think it actually does. There are secrets in this castle that we have yet to see. And I think the 
light is going to show that. Notice it said bald in there instead of building. Because I suffer from bald. Oh, so, we want to just run around here with the light. Make sure there's nothing in the foyer that's a secret. Probably on the map now where all of the chests are. So this is your first image of how big this world is. It's not a huge castle, it's not a huge castle, anything like that. But it is a lot more than what we have seen on the map. And with our Spelunker ability kind of know the right way to go. Sort of. You have two pictures next to each other like that. One of them is Right there that has two, that's right in the middle of the screen, is almost certainly the dark room bad guy. The one that's there is probably the forest bad guy. The question is, where is that one right there my baby? The main boss. Because only rooms with two chests. We could also be searching for fairy chests or bonus rooms. That might be useful to you. Perfectly safe room. You wanna give me Sharon's oval? So I can continue? No, you gave me Army's boots. So, there's one more down here. I think I can do this. I want to go. Nope. So next air, do we play as a spawn cat again or an archmage? Um. Let's play as the archmage, so we don't play as a spawn cat. And then I want to go ahead and upgrade this again, I believe, and 
upgrade our damage. And then I'm going to go ahead and lock the castle down. 60% loss of gold. And then we'll go through here and lose 20% of what we have. So, unfortunately, without the Spawn Cat version, we do not know where the other collections are. That's a bummer. really worth it to have done what we just did. Cannot pray for assistance again. I can't tell you how we did. If I had memorized Out there. Doesn't cost that much in mana too, so knives. There we go. Nothing here that interests me. Cannot beat this. So if I just wanted to practice the boss, how this would work. I just don't go to walls. our time, uh, our weapons, that we are going to reach. So, if I wanted to stop time or something, maybe I could do that. Let's do it. Let's try this. We'll play Lady Teresa as the Archmage. We will take our 420 gold and hopefully be able to buy something. Better. Give me something. I don't even 
have that ability. That was a waste. Ow. So if you were going for a boss run, this is exactly what you would want to be doing. Let's go get that treasure first. But I would have wanted the Curious in Time ability, and I, if I had just checked what my three options for spells were going to be, then I wouldn't have made such a silly Again, the characters respawn, so and all the items respawn. So it's not really a situation where you're going to clear out the castle with a lot of multiple tribes. And then it won't be empty of enemies. Well, still full of enemies. The exact same as Spot, but still cool. I I was hoping to get to that to that chest, but no. Okay. Hokage Archmage Assassin. Hmm. Risky low stats hero can do critical strikes. We'll play as Archmage again. We're at 120, we can't buy anything there. We don't have the time freeze ability, which is a very rare ability to have. And I should have put it to better use. So, in theory, in a couple generations, you might be able to beat all the bosses. You can just get time freeze and continuously use it. That's pretty much how I end up, uh, ended up beating the boss at least once. I don't like that level. Oh, I don't like that either. I have no choice, I have to go. Hey, look at the dwarfism secret area. I'm gonna call Doom Vaz. V-A-S. Maybe I'm mispronouncing it. it. You'd think it would be a base if it was called a Doom Vaz. But then all the other names are ridiculous and don't make any sense either. Corrupted Knight kinda makes sense. Not making it very far. Great progress there. Let's see, who do we want to play as next? Just play as a paladin. Sword Lancelot 2, 233, can't do anything with that. Hmm. We're up to level 
level 44. And we still have the ability. We should do it. We should do it. We need to. I think if we can be the very first to come off. Good run, I think. Getting into the flow of it. I cannot believe I made it out of that section without dying. Yeah. Run back that way. Let's come this way and see what we've got. I think the flying ability will give me. Night Cape! There we go! So we've got two new upgrades. So we need the equipment up so we can use those things. Um, it'll be slightly quicker to go back to the beginning through teleporter. would be the best for all those rooms. I guess slightly cooler with the right phrase there. the ball, don't give up. We've been doing pretty good so far. One bad room does not make a bad room. There we go. I kind of wish these spike balls would disappear when all the other enemies are gone. 
code, so that would be nice. That'd be the way most people making video games would do it. I don't know why that spike all there, just There we go. Well, if they disappeared after a certain time, that would be alright too. Alright, so these are the faster things. I don't think I can do that puzzle. So I'm not gonna bother trying. I just think I'll end up taking damage. For no good reason. So my health is pretty good. My, my, uh, my weapon is alright. My mana is at maximum. There would be a reason at least to consider it doing the boss. But I don't think I'm gonna win. Probably the way to the darkness, almost certainly, actually. But there's a couple more rooms. So I'm ready to do it. 
So, we've seen probably all but one room of the castle, and we've only got uh, 1685. If we want to start getting above that amount, we are going to have to start going further. Triple what you pay. So it's only triple 25%. So I'm gonna just consistently do this first one. What's in the box? Nothing. Now the forest is the easiest one if we were just going to keep moving. It is the right way to go. So sometimes you get rooms like this that don't make sense. Uh, it looks like where we're standing right now goes way higher, but as far as I can tell, there's no secret passage. So I don't know what the deal is with that. This will put us in a random place, which is as good as anything else. that gold. <laughs> Was that the right move to jump into it and try and go further in this room? Actually, I think it wasn't. I think I should have taken the gold, left the room, taken the random location, just for giggles. Let's see, Spell Thief. Who is. Let's see. Barbarian. King. I think I'm just gonna play with the Spell Thief. I, I have this theory that if I can get the right attack with Spell Thief, I could take out the boss. Four more damage for 375. That's an interesting purchase option. Or I could equipment up, I could armor up and cut out another 2%. I could increase my HP, do that, and then do that. What else do we find as a new piece of equipment? A cape that would do plus 15% critical damage instead of 4. Interesting. So we've got a couple of options now if we are short on cash and have to need to buy some. We're slowly progressing. We're slowly making progress. So, when you have barrels like that that get you to a higher section, there might have been a secret door there. You can't just 
walk on it. Activate it, Billy. Pull up some top or something. Like that. If I'm remembering the game right, I don't like controller around the Like, actually. But I don't think I am. I don't think there is a secret. And we have yet to reveal. I wouldn't be as far as the story of the secret in this game. I've never even it out. face the other direction because I'm confused. There we go. Nice. Let's consider this. He's got the spell thief ability. Life is almost at 100. I think the game is pushing me to take on this bad guy. Well, my life is now too low to realistically take on the boss. So in instead of taking him on, I uh, took go Maybe if we can get back to this point and have life.
No jumping, impossible for me to do right now. Vilness, development time 3 months, release date April 15, 2001. Vilness is one of the more risky endeavors which we took. The initial concept was a reverse tower defense, which sounds like it could be a good idea, but we had a hard time converting that could to wood. Most people who have played this game think the process was an obvious one, but lots of stress and arguments involved in this project. The entire idea was got 3 or 4 times before we settled on the final version. It is ironic that uh, today Vilnius is far and away one of our most successful titles. It was also the most famous. That's strange, um, because I don't know any of these games. I would really say Rogue Legacy is the kind of break out in. I would almost, by default, assume that One of their first, if not their first, um, creations. Okay. So there's all my mana. We were fighting that big boss. So my thought was that by fighting a big boss like that, I would be getting enough mana to refill for each of my attacks. But it doesn't feel like that's actually the case. In fact, it feels like if I had gone into the boss fight, I would have got maybe 5 or 6 attacks of the match with that So there is a chest in there, and there's a chest here. Let's try this. Oh no, that wasn't a real chest, it was a mimic! Killed by a mimic, I forgot mimics existed. Uh. <sighs> Next air, who will it be? A lich? Let's take the lich with the flying bird. I suppose. We got 237,000. So we can upgrade the lich, or we can upgrade the spell thief. Turn your spell thieves into spell wards. Let's upgrade the Lich. Raise your Liches into Lich Kings. Grant yourself the power of both mind and matter. With a single press, convert your permanent health into permanent mana. Okay. And then Death Defy. Release your inner cat and avoid death sometimes. Alright, that is a cool thought. So we'd have a small percentage chance of not dying when we should have died. Almost certainly, most of the times when you do not die when you're supposed to die, you will end up dying anyways. Uh, Spell Thief is the next one that we have. We still have two that we want to put points into right now. Let's see. More damage. Take more damage and equip a better sword. And that leaves me with 43. So, here I can just l lower my health right there by pressing Y, and I just did it <laughs> quite a And so I am down to one health. One of one health. Eww. Jeez. So I'm gonna play kind of funny. 
says I have 87 of 128 mana. So. so I've, with every fight here, I've got to regroup every single bit of my health. Uh, I'm at 13 health now. Well, that certainly is a risky way to, to start the game. I don't know if there's really a, a strategy in all that. Probably one hit is all it's going to take. Let's move on. One more run, I think. And we will play as a Spunket, absolutely. With 71 gold, there's nothing we can buy. Ah, look. So I have... What ability? Glaucoma. It's so dark. We haven't had Glaucoma before. It fixes Glaucoma. <laughs> Darkness fixes that. Sure. <laughs> I don't want to destroy the instead of fighting. We can't buy anything here, but we should be able to buy something somewhere. At least the blood chest is now purchased. Still need ten more things. Actually, I should have bought the cape instead. Oops. My bad. <laughs> So my goal in this round is to find the boss room without taking too much or any damage. And get in the boss room and see if I can take him out. I'm hoping he's one of the 
Couldn't take those guys out. I certainly can't take the actual boss out. <laughs> so we made some more progress today. So. I don't want this series to get as long as the Binding of Isaac Rebirth was, my first series I recorded. But I'm starting to get a little afraid it might get on the longer side. The problem with doing this for YouTube is I just have to get better at the game quickly and be. Otherwise, I am going to be stuck here doing the same thing over and over again. And there's not a lot to say new, uh, new about running into the same things over and over again. I think I would guesstimate you've seen probably somewhere around 85% of the entire game already. Uh, you haven't seen the bosses, you haven't seen a few secrets, but this is pretty much all it is for the rest of it. And maybe I should just think about ending the series here. I'm not going to, but that would be an interesting concept if I just didn't play all the way to the end like I normally do and instead just ended and let people experience it for themselves. Let me know in the comments how, how you feel about that if that was how it happened. Uh, I think it probably doesn't work that well now that I think about it because then I am taking the option away from you to, whether you want to actually watch me beat the whole game and just saying you can't watch me beat the whole game. Whereas right now, if somebody wants to turn off my videos and not watch any further until they beat the game themselves, that's their option to do. Anywho, that's going to be it for this recording. As always, I ask you to like, share, subscribe, comment if you want to, and watch every second of my videos. All that helps me out. If you want to support me, you can click on my name, Rido. On the right will be a blue button that says support this channel. Click it and make a donation. And if you want a friend or follow me on basically any social media sites, there's a whole bunch of links down below. Thank you for watching. Have a good evening.